Good morning, David. It is uh, Tuesday morning, July 5th, 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. And I wanted to uh, respond to your post on July 4th about Proverbs 4 and how it uh, contains the idea of wisdom. And wow, I really need a haircut. Man, look at that stuff. Sorry to uh, talk about hair to those that are follically challenged. So anyway, getting back to wisdom. Well, first of all, I, I don't mean to copy Jesus as dangerous here with my uh, with my mobile vlog, and uh, which, by the way, I, I think it is high time in our society that we come up with a name for what we call a uh, you know when you're vlogging in your car. You know, I, I, at first I thought clog because it's like car and blog together and and in fact when you type in the word vlog in any iOS device it'll actually change the word to clog and but then you know you got fire charger who uh, who sometimes does it from his semi truck so uh, you know I don't I, I, I don't know let's just come up with something I'm thinking either vlog for like a mobile vlog or uh, mobile vlog or moby vlog or you know I think I think we just need to finally put that to rest and, and come up with a name for that Anyway, getting back to your post, you know, you uh, came up with something really interesting that I myself have struggled with a number of times, the uh, the patriotism and the, the patriotic element of the church, and wow, it is so sunny and shady that I can't even see myself in the camera. I apologize for that. I I'm not much to look at anyway, so that's not a real big deal. But uh, yeah, that's, that's something I've struggled with myself uh, from time to time. What do you do with that? And, uh, you know, I've, I've been in church and I say, wow, does this really have a place here? Is... Is, is patriotism getting in the way of our worship. But then I come around full circle and I say, thank God I live in a country where I can worship Jesus freely, where I can stand on the corner and say Jesus out loud and not worry about anything. I can make videos and post them to the internet and not worry about men in black cars coming to my house and, and making my life miserable and the lives of my family miserable and, and all that. Uh, so while I have struggled with that very issue myself. I kind of put it to bed and say, you know what? Just thank God that I uh, that I live in a country like this where we can celebrate what we want and how we want, and we can have those freedoms because of the country we live in. So that's how I rectify that in my life. Now, getting back to Proverbs, you know, in in Psalm one eleven ten, it says that the uh, wisdom starts when the fear of Lord begins. I find it very appropriate that uh, as you're doing your speed bump, it would seem to me that it's very appropriate that uh, as you're doing these uh, 31 days and the 31 books of Proverbs, that uh, the fourth day and the fourth proverb would be dealing with wisdom and how we need to be dependent on wisdom and in pursuit of wisdom since the 4th of July is our Independence Day and we celebrate our independence. I think it's very appropriate that Proverbs declares that we must have a dependence on wisdom and be in pursuit of wisdom. Further on, let's think about the end result of pursuing wisdom. You know, a lot of our society uh, wants to live its own life, wants to do its own thing without the uh, guidelines of wisdom, without the guidelines found in biblical wisdom. And uh, could I just say right here that a lack of wisdom is also a lack of um, long-term thinking and a lack of, uh, of vision for what someone's life could be like if they gained wisdom. My bottom line before I go into work here, if God has this plan for us, it's amazing the wisdom that is found in the Bible and the wisdom that is found in pursuing holiness, biblical holiness, and uh, it's an amazing thing that, that this book that's you know written thousands of years ago contains so much wisdom that can go that can apply directly to our lives today so uh, that's my bottom line because I've got to get into work you have a great day